the coldest temperature we've been able to achieve is actually colder here in a laboratory than out in space. Here in a laboratory, we've been able to get down to a few millionths of a degree above absolute zero. But out in space... Oh, what a failure. <laughs> right, right, right. But out in space, we have the leftover heat from the Big Bang. It's oh, called the cosmic the microwave cosmic background that. radiation. Yeah. Can't escape it's that. everywhere. And that's about three degrees above absolute. It's still damn cold. That, it's still yeah. clear. Yeah. Yes, yeah. You, you don't want to go out there. Wear that a jacket. Okay. Oh, cool. But it is very So the cool. Big Bang itself is hanging around in such a way that it's warming space to the point where we can't get to an absolute zero. That's space. absolutely right. And that heat is actually very important in the universe because we have these cold clouds of hydrogen gas floating around in the universe. These clouds would be doing absolutely nothing and having no e emission of energy or signal of any kind, except the cosmic microwave background warms them up just enough that once every 10 to 20 million years on average, a hydrogen atom floating around in space will do a spin flip and release one single photon of radio wave emission at a wavelength of 21, 21 centimeters. centimeters.